Hello everybody and welcome back to Lanta Gaming. Today we're going to be playing some more magic for you. This video is up a tiny bit sooner than usual, but that's because I thought I'd get this one up um, before Guild Wars 2 comes out in just over 15 hours, which is amazing. And we're probably going to pull an all-nighter and get some footage of that up as soon as we can. So I thought I'd get this up. There's one more magic video to go after this and then we've got all the videos done. Uh, for the time being for magic um, unless you guys want to see some more please let us know and then we're going to be spamming you with some Guild Wars 2 videos for a little while um, yeah and whatever else you guys want to see in this game in particular we're going to be showing you the Obedient Dead deck, Liliana Foster's deck and Garrick's deck, the Pack Instinct deck um, as you can see I've not got many cards unlocked in this so obviously Tom's going to be playing Garrick but anyway thank you very much for watching as always and I hope you enjoy it This time I'm going to be going for Liliana's deck, the Obedient Dead. Now we're playing with Garrick's deck. Delectable. I have to say, this is the deck I more or less started with, and the deck I play IRL. Because I'm a cool guy like that, and it's probably my favourite deck in the game. Oh, first hand Sarah Ascendant, that's not so good. Fortunately, oh, I have an Innocent Blood, which is not much good for them. <laughs> and this is why I completely love the black deck, because it just has so many ways to counter absolutely everything that your opponent could possibly want to do. It has so many ways of getting rid of creatures. I've got Innocent Blood, Murder, I've got a Fume Spitter there, which gives a minus 1-1 one, one counter on it. I've got Infest, which gives a minus 2-2, two, two, which is really good against Odric's deck with all his soldier tokens. Sweeps the entire battlefield and kills everything. The Garak's deck is a very interesting deck in my opinion. Yeah, it's got very, very tough creatures, but obviously that comes with high mana cost. Yeah. It seems so if you're going to play with Garak's deck, you're gonna, <laughs> you want a lot of mana in your opening hand. Definitely. It seems to either be completely flooded with land due to all its sorceries and whatnot, or completely land blocked, which doesn't serve it too well. Mm. Mm. Go ahead and play Fume Spitter here. I'll zoom in on that for you guys who haven't seen it. Show my other cards quickly as well. Feel free to pause the video and read them as always if you want to see them. And these are Tom's cards. So there we go, lovely. <laughs> Looks like we're playing against Ajani and either Goblins or Chandra. Right, I'd say Chandra. I'm guessing Chandra by the lack of cards at the third turn. Mm. Goblins have a lot of low, low mana creatures. And yeah, that's Chandra. Yeah, they have a lot of low mana creatures and lots of things to have haste to try and kill you as quickly as possible before you have much of a chance to react. Can't do much about that, so I have to let it go. Not too worried about three mana though. This turn where it starts to get a bit nice because I can. Um, do I use my Liliana Spectre yet or should I throw out the Nighthawk? I think I'm actually going to use the Nighthawk and wait a turn so I can get rid of a better card in their hands. Because uh, the Nighthawk has Death Touch and can block that 2 2. Because the Iron Spectre will be killed, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. Oh, I could have attacked with the Fume Spear. Oh, well. I always like to sneak damage out where I can. Yep, yeah, I'm going to get the Fume Spear on that. Nope. <laughs> Soul Wardens are such a pain in the behind. I think one game we played earlier, a guy ended up getting three Soul Wardens out and two of Johnny's Pride Mates. Oh yes. Uh, if you guys don't know what they do, the Soul Wardens give you one life every time a creature from anyone enters battlefields, and a Johnny Pride Mate gets a plus one one counter every time you gain life. So anytime any creature in the battlefield, a Johnny's Pride Mate was getting. This seems interesting. I'll block it anyway. Any Johnny's Pride Mate was getting. Um, yeah, plus three, plus three. Which is quite unfortunate and hurt us quite a lot. And we lost that game, needless to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's killed my dude. That's unfortunate. It's okay though, because I'll throw out the Spectre next turn and everyone will be happy. I've still got my Murder and my Befowl, and I'm tempted actually to Befowl one of the White Land because he looks like he's a bit mana blocked. Which could upset him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not to the point of rage quitting, but um, yeah, enough that we might win. 
The white deck is interesting, isn't it? The Jarley's deck, and it seems to have very low mana creatures or very high mana creatures in spells. Yeah, but there's no real middle ground, is there? Yeah. It's very strange. Like, it seems to do really well early game and really well really late game, but in the middle you're kind of at an awkward stage where there's not really a whole lot to do. Apart from hopeful lots more life and wait out for land. Challenger's deck is kind of interesting against the black deck at least. Very interesting. It's kind of weird playing um, against lots of sorceries. It's nice not to play against the blue deck though because I can't counter all my infests and my befouls and my murders and all that kind of crazy stuff. But yeah, it's not too bad. Find favour on... okay, that's interesting. Yeah, with a 6-6, six, six, I'm just going to keep attack with this every turn, even if it dies. Because every time I attack, I get two lands on the field. Yep. This is all I want. I just want land. Delicious, isn't it? Um, should I be foul the three far? I think I'm going to be foul in one of the white's land, and then murder the other thing next turn. What should I do in the opposite order? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tempted to murder so I can attack, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. That will be foul the next turn. I think he's pretty loud blocked. That also gets rid of that enchantment, which is quite nice. And then we can both attack this turn for eight. This is the enchantment that you hate. <laughs> I don't like this enchantment. It's a lot of mana for what it does, but I don't know Garrick's deck very well, so. <laughs> so worth it. Oh dear. Four mana to draw a card. Totally worth it. Yep. Here we go, look. And this is why. I like the murder and the black deck because it just kills everything and it's really nice. I think he's gonna he use that on me, okay. Well, that's the I thought he'd have used that on my spectre to be honest. Hmm. Oh well. Not complaining. If he doesn't draw land, yeah, I'm definitely no okay, he has drawn land. Ooh, uh, do I befoul the land or do I wait until I have a decent creature out? Like that. That'll do. <laughs> Yep, yep, I'll we'll get rid of that. I'm fine with this. Could have merged all befouled it. The good thing about befoul, of course, is it means they can't be regenerated. Which is quite nice, especially against the Exalted deck, actually, because they have a lot of stuff that you can regenerate, but then it's got to be a non black or non artifact creature, so it's a kind of double edged blade. I'm not so sure why the mana cost is so high in it, though. It's one more than murder, and it can't be regenerated. But it can't target black creatures, but it can target land, I guess. So, hmm. <laughs> it's it's um it's not card. I like it though. So I got haste. Yes, it has. Just probably attack with it. Kind of strange if it doesn't. Okay. I'm All sure right then. He hasn't done that, but not too worried. Oh, a last kiss. Oh, this is lovely. Um. Okay, so I'll get rid of. I can last kiss that 2-2 two, two to give us 2 life, I'll show that does quickly. And we'll gain 2 life from it, which is quite nice. I think he saved it to block my spectre with, but that's fine with me. I'll trade a 2-1 for a 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have all the land. Don't yeah. mind me. <laughs> I've only got 5 land, well now 3 land left in the whole library. Yep. <laughs> Garrick's deck does this. I, I do quite like it. I think it's awesome. And this is why I suppose that the James Day no, a tomb is actually an okay card. But shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the black deck because it just. I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet, but yeah, I really like the black deck. <laughs> because it just seems to have so many ways just to. Anytime they bring out a creature, it's like, nope, I'll last kiss that, I'll murder that, I'll befoul that, I'll infest that, I'll mutilate that, I'll fume spitter that. It just seems to kill everything. I really like it. The green deck's just very much, I'll have a really big creature and attack you with it and kill all your cards by attacking you with them. <laughs> I mean, with it, against the green deck, you kind of have to block or you take so much damage. Yeah, like that three mana monster, four, five. Oh, exactly. Lovely. Because they're so big, the majority of the time they go ahead and kill your creature, which kind of sucks. Oh, Lamp is now alive. Go on, Lamp. Um, or I could even, uh, I can't actually kill that, which is unfortunate, but last kiss is an instant, so they go ahead and summon anything. 
I'll use that on their turn, and we'll get two life. And we've now got 49 life out of <laughs> nowhere, because that card is delicious. Especially with all this land. It's gonna flood the battlefield with <laughs> all my cards. <laughs> because you've got all the mana. Prayer Pond is such a cheeky little card. For one mana, I think that's really powerful. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't count as combat either, which is... Yeah, you can kill things like Fog Bank with it, which is supposed to block all combat damage, but apparently, as it says, fighting a creature doesn't count as combat damage. So, there we go. I've wrote this into the game's coding. Um, <laughs> either you know the rules much better than we do, or you're a bit silly, but... Who are we to argue? <laughs> Ooh, what's that gonna do? It's gonna kill Chain all of the monsters. Ah, oh, but one. It won't kill your 6-6. Six, six. Yay! I'm okay with that. Being Chandra though, it's probably got a deal one damage to target creature sorcery, because that's what Chandra does. Either that or a rage crit. But you have got Undying as well, which is quite nice. Mm. Are they gonna send anything? Okay. No, was, after he's had all his use, I've got one mana left in the library, so... Yep, you're about to draw all the creature cards. Please play something with two toughness I can kill, that'd be really nice. Oh, well, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't like that one. That's a card I think I saw a bit earlier, where whenever you gain life, you put a counter on it. Thought I'd kill that straight away just because he's got that Angel's Feather, which would have put him up to. Oh, this oh, is bad for Genesis them. Wave. Holy shit. Yep, let's show you what this does. Here we go. <laughs> this is about to get very fun. <laughs> let's move that. You can pause that and read it. And Tom is about to get a lot of creatures, I believe. <laughs> the next 23 cards I put on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> and if she's got most of your land in your. Oh, wow. Yep. If they don't rage quit now, then they're very, very good sports. That or they have a judgement day. But they've got enough there to use it, so... I think it's fairly safe to say at this point we probably won the game, but... Yeah. You never know, you never know. And <laughs> <laughs> use the Antipo Shade. Which gains plus one, plus one for every um, swamp. We can use a swamp to give it plus one, plus one. Oh. It's really annoying having to go to type on here. It always seems to bring the Steam menu up. I'm not sure if it does that for you, but mm. that's for me. Alright. Yep, well, there you go. That is the Obedient <laughs> Dead and the Garrix deck, I think, very fairly sufficiently uh, shown off. Yeah, once you get enough <laughs> mana with Garrix deck, it's, it's pretty unstoppable. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Alright, though. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, favourite. Tell your friends, tell your family, lick your dog, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, do whatever you guys like to do. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.